So this question is a simplify question. We have a single line. Um, we have these two equations. Simplify questions are typically between one and three lines long and will contain an equation or expression. Uh, the question says, what is the value of t? So there's not much I can do here for this first equation. I mean, I, there's things I can do, but I wouldn't know why I was doing it. But here, at least I have this t here, and the question asks for the value of t. So I'm going to take this 2x over ty equals 160, and I'm going to solve for t. So to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by t so that my t's cancel on the left-hand side, and I'd be left with 2x over y equals 160t. Then I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 over 160. It's the same as dividing by 160, but I like to do the reciprocal whenever I have fractions involved. So that my 160 crosses out on the right-hand side, and on the left-hand side, I can do some cross-canceling. 160 becomes 80, 2 becomes 1. So this becomes x over 80y equals t. So there's my t isolated. Now, I need to use this, right? I, need, I know that I need to use this. And I know that I'm not done here yet because I still have three variables here. So x over y equals 8. So how does that, how does that help me? x over y equals 8. How is that useful for my x over 80y equals t? I'm trying to solve for t. Well, here's how it's useful. I can rewrite x over 80y as x over y times 1 over 80. And because I know that x over y is equal to 8, I can replace this, replace this x over y with 8. So this becomes 8 times 1 over 80 equals t, which is the same as 8 over 80 equals t. And it's the same as 1 tenth equals t, right? Because 8 goes into 8 once. 8 goes into 80 10 times. So there's my answer. T is equal to 1 tenth.